Okay, as if I'm not showing you enough things on this. Um, what I've got here, we're going to put this video up front. Um, I'm going to show you how to solder these connections where you've got the two pieces of tape overlaid. So the tape's been pressed down. Uh, the long ones running down the length of the span of the blade, and you know, we press those down with a popsicle stick. When I do these other traces, I tend to just use my fingernail just to press them down, make sure they're in place. But when it comes to soldering these things, what I end up doing is taking some of my paste flux on the tip of a knife, make sure I get plenty on both pieces of copper. When I come in with my hot iron, you notice this one's kind of dirty, so we're going to clean this up real quick. Okay, it looks a little better. We're going to add a nice dab of solder to it. And of course you see the toothpick laying back there in the frame. That's the key. So I'm going to use the toothpick. I'm going to hold a section, in this case the back corner, of it down while I solder it. That doesn't get the job done. Show me something else. So that leaves us a nice solder connection that's bridged across those two. And one of the things I will often do is I'll come back and I will look at all these solder connections under a 10 times magnifier. Make sure there's no splits or cracks because sometimes when you get two dissimilar or two different separate surfaces, and keep in mind there is that adhesive layer underneath there. Sometimes it'll have a, a, a weak spot, so you want to make sure you bridge over that. But at this point, I'll go back and you know look at everything with, uh, like I said, the magnifying glasses and touch up what needs to be touched up. What I want to show you here is we've got the first blade down, and we're setting the components. Now I want you to try to see here the relative position of the LED to the copper tape. You'll see it actually oh, it goes over the line a little bit. Same thing down here with the other. I'm going to come back here to center stage try to get the lighting just right on this. Um, you can sort of see this first one is is upside down and you can see the gold trace on the end. If you have any sort of gap, in this case I'm showing a little bit, bit of black between the copper and that LED same thing for this one. If there's a gap between the LED and the copper, or the copper and the copper anywhere when you go to solder these things, the solder will not bridge that gap for you. You have to have a small overlap. So, just to show that to you. So these two guys will pull out. This point, this one, and this one are ready to set in place.